In Creo Parametric, you can assign materials to your models. Here I have a part model open. If I expand the Design Items folder, there is no material currently assigned to this part. The easy way to assign a material is by clicking on the top node of the model tree and then holding down the right mouse button and then choosing Edit Materials. This opens up the Materials dialog box. There's a warning about starting in Creo 7. There's a default material assigned, but we can go to the different folders of materials. I will go to the Legacy Materials folder and I will choose what I want to use. Let's grab Steel and then I can right click on the material and choose Set as Master and that will make all the bodies assigned to the material steel. Now I will click the OK button and we have a materials folder in the model tree. I can expand it. You can see steel inside of there. If you already have a material assigned to the model, you can also right click on the materials folder and choose edit materials. And let's close that warning message. I'll go back to the legacy materials. Maybe instead I want to use titanium. I will click on it and then choose set as master. It's going to give me a warning. A material is currently assigned to the model. Do you want to assign a different material to the model? I will click the OK button and then click OK once more. And you'll notice that both steel and titanium alloy are assigned to this particular model. An alternate way of assigning materials is by going to the File drop-down menu and then Prepare and Model Properties. In the Model Properties dialog box, the very top line is for Material. You can click on the blue Change hyperlink and this will open up the same dialog box as before. But I'm going to cancel out of there. Let's click Yes to cancel and then close the Model Properties dialog box. In an assembly, you can assign materials to multiple models at the same time. The easy way is by clicking on them using the control key in the model tree, and then you can hold down the right mouse button. From the pop-up menu, you can choose Edit Materials, and this is going to open up a different dialog box. The Assign Material dialog box, where you can select the different parts that you want to assign the material to. There is a junction box that you can expand in case you want to assign materials to individual bodies in individual parts. It will list any materials that are in the source model for the engine assembly. Right now there aren't any, so I can choose the other button. And this will open up the dialog box. Let me go to my legacy materials. Let me grab steel once more, add to the model, and then click the OK button and click OK once more. And steel has been assigned to those different parts. If you want to pick the parts out of the graphics area, use your selection filter in the lower right hand corner to change from the default geometry to parts. And then you can select the parts using the control key. And once you selected all the parts that you want, hold down the right mouse button and choose edit materials just like before. And I will use Steel from the selection list. You could click on Other if you want to, to select a different material. And now Steel has been assigned to those different parts. Here I have a, another part open. Let me expand the Design Items folder and Materials. And right now this part is set to Titanium, but it also has Steel added to the model. If you want to change the material assignment, you can right click on the other material and choose Set as Master. And again, we get the warning about a material currently being assigned to the model. I'm going to click the OK button. Now Steel is the active material for this part. Lastly, you can assign different materials to different bodies. If I expand the Design Items folder, I can see that there are five bodies in this particular part but there's no materials folder, so no material has been assigned to either the part or any of the different bodies. In order to assign a material to a body, you can right click on it and choose Assign Material, and there is that default material that was added in Creo 7. You can choose Follow Master, or you can choose Other. And this will open up the dialog box. Once again, I'll go to the Legacy Materials, I'll grab the 6061 aluminum, and I'll choose Add to Model, and then Select. 
Now there's a little arrow that you can expand to see the material assignment. Another convenient way of seeing the material assignments is by adding a column to the model tree. I will click on the tree columns icon and then change the type dropdown list to body params. And here's PTC assigned material. Let's add that column and click the OK button. And I'll resize it a little bit. And we can see that the first body has that aluminum assigned to it, but the others are using that default material. If you want to assign a material to multiple different bodies, you can use the shift key to select them, or you could use the control key. Now I will right mouse click and hold and choose assign material. And I could choose that 6061, or you can choose the other button. And once again, I'll just go to my standard steel, right click on it and choose add to model and then select. You can see that now those different bodies have steel assigned to it. So that's how you can assign materials to your different parts and bodies in Creo Parametric.